Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a few helpful tips when you're trying to install Linux Mint alongside with Windows, but you can use this guide even for other distros as well. These few helpful tips will make sure that the dual boot setup loads and starts no problem without any issues. So I hope you will find this video helpful. If you will like it, please support with a like. I appreciate it very much. This helps me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting videos. Also, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. If you still have any comments, questions, suggestions, or just want to share your thoughts, please drop them down in the comment section below. I'd like to read your comments and help you if I can. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. A quick heads up for you guys when trying to create a dual boot setup on your computer. First of all, install Windows and second, install Linux. Because if you do it vice versa, Windows usually overtakes the bootloader and then you won't be able to boot Linux. You're going to have to fix the bootloader. So it is preferable that you have Windows already installed. And after that, create a dual boot, add in Linux to the existing operating system. First and foremost, before attempting to install another operating system or resizing partitions to install a dual boot setup, make sure to copy all important files from your computer before proceeding. Even though this process is safe when done correctly, you know, anytime we can make a mistake. And then if you format the wrong partition, you will lose all your information forever. So it is better to be safe and copy all important information from the disk before proceeding. So first thing we got to do, we got to disable fast startup for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Fast startup in Windows is the feature designed to reduce the time it takes for your computer to boot up after being shut down. It works by saving the state instead of fully shutting down, allowing Windows to start more quickly. It works well, but it may cause issues with dual boot systems, so we need to disable it. Press Windows key plus X on the keyboard and then choose power options, then go to additional power settings, then choose what the power buttons do, then click on this change settings that are currently unavailable, and where it says turn on fast startup, make sure it's disabled. As you can see on my computer, it is already disabled, but if you have a check mark here, make sure to untick it and disable it. After that, save changes and close this window. Then also we need to handle the BitLocker. Sometimes when it's enabled, it might interfere with installing other operating systems, especially Windows 11 often has BitLocker encryption enabled by default. On Windows 10, it's usually disabled, but if it's enabled, we need to turn it off. So for that, also go to the settings and then just search for BitLocker, choose Manage BitLocker. And as you can see right now, I have the BitLocker off. If you have it on, make sure to turn it off before trying to install Linux as the second operating system. And another tip for you guys, even if you're not going to allocate space for the Linux operating system from the drive C where Windows operating system is located, but rather you're going to shrink drive D or other partition, you still need to disable BitLocker for the drive C because during a dual boot setup, the Linux installer modifies the bootloader to allow selecting between Windows and Linux at startup and the bootloader resides on the system partition, which is typically on the drive C. So you need to disable BitLocker anyway. If you don't see the BitLocker, it's likely not enabled or you're using Windows 11 Home. If it's already off, you can go ahead and close it. On Windows 11, you can do a similar, just go to the settings and search for BitLocker and turn it off. And the last but not least, you will need to disable secure boot in some instances. Sometimes when you're trying to start Linux Mint on the computer, it may not start because you have secure boot enabled. So you will need to disable secure boot to start the GRUB boot menu. And also you need to make sure that the disk where you have installed Ubuntu or Linux Mint is in the first position. So after the installation is complete and you restart your computer, 
before it starts loading into your original operating system, for example, Windows 10 or Windows 11, press a dedicated key to enter the BIOS UEFI settings. I will put the list of all possible keys for different computer manufacturers. So choose the one that is designed for your computer to enter the BIOS UEFI settings. If you have a password set up for BIOS, just enter your password and press enter. Then go to the boot section. And where it says the boot priority order, make sure that the Ubuntu is set in the first place. For that, just use the arrow keys to highlight it and then press F6 on the keyboard to put it up. If you're using Windows 11, make sure that the secure boot is disabled. If it is enabled, sometimes it may not allow you to boot Linux Mint. So make sure it is disabled, then press F10 and press yes. As you can see, we got the GRUB menu here that we can choose which operating system we want to boot from, whether it is Linux Mint 22.1 Cinnamon or Windows Boot Manager. So right now we can choose from it. So let's go ahead and choose Linux Mint. There you have it guys, Linux Mint is all functional and working on this computer. These were the quick tips that will make sure that Linux Mint boots alongside with Windows. If you need more help, let me know in the comment section below. I also have another video that explains in detail how to create a dual boot setup on any computer, starting with the download of Linux Mint ISO to verifying it, to creating a live boot USB drive, to manually partitioning the drive, and then finally installing it on the computer. So if you want to know how to do that, I will put a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. Also, if you want to learn how to properly manual partition the drive so that you can install Linux Mint operating system or any other Linux distro alongside with Windows, I have a separate video where I explain in detail how to do that. It is very important to do it properly so that your operating system boots no problem. There I explain how to create Linux partitions such as root partition, swap partition and home partition and also give a few extra tips on installing Linux Mint alongside with Windows. So if that's something you're looking for, then it will be very helpful to you. Well, there you have it. These are the few helpful tips I wanted to share with you today. So disable fast startup in Windows, disable the BitLocker, disable secure boot in BIOS UEFI settings. This should help your dual boot setup work no problem. Anyway, this is it for today. I hope you find this video helpful. Please support with your like. Also, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you want to learn more about Linux, Linux Mint in particular, or other Linux distros, I have a great playlist you can check out where you're going to learn a lot of helpful tips and tricks about Linux. But this is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.